Oh, hey, it's me here. I'm just up in, uh, in the shelter here. So I was gonna uh, make this video to show you a couple things. I'm working on a bag. This is a kind of a high quality durable bag here. So it's a uh, here triple layered. The pattern is not, you know, it's okay. That might be inside, and the outside is a canvas. Well, that might be the outside. Anyway, I might cut it in two and make two separate bags, kind of like this one. That, with the uh, zipper on the top. So that's what I'm working on now. So I had a video about the downtown Eastside bag factory. So I kind of moved to Sandy Park for now because I can work here now a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, check out this silk I got. I got this at the discount bin. And then uh, I had a bunch of other stuff too, but I'm not too concerned with that. Anyway, I'm gonna use this silk, and then I don't know if I made another video about that, and then do a in-sewn to increase the durability of it, and then uh, make a bunch of pouches and bags, one for like uh, toiletries and, and stuff. I don't know these ones. Once I get the experiments done, you know, I might be able to uh, make something that looks pretty nice. I did, I think I showed you uh, this one before. Okay, and now this one has uh, been in line with a, a test a friend helped me with. That looks pretty okay. Looks pretty good. You know. See? So that was an experiment. See? Anyway. Um, yeah. I'm going to hand do these now. I don't have an electrical outlet, so I can't get a sewing machine going. I'm trying to get that going, but ran into some other things. And, uh,. It's not a big deal, the other things are more important. Uh, but back to this, as a pastime. Okay, so that's what's going on here. Um, I need a couple bags, I got, my bags are full. I think I got this bag up there. Which I showed on the video before. It was just full and then I showed off this one here on the video before but now that bag is, is full so I'll have uh, this bag and then this bag and then some of those bags in my backpack which is there this bag which I repaired several times so far and needs another repair and then I'll have a really good organization system where it's just pulling out the stuff that I need right away so this by the way is a sewing project kit that's the uh, needle and thread kind of kit anyway uh, what I wanted to cover today, uh, as far as building the tent system, um, is uh, ventilation. So this tent I found, and then uh, the poles, I can't remember if the poles were with it, or if I had restored the poles, or I got the poles from another tent. Someone gave me another tent, I still have another tent, um, but as you can see, that green tarp is on the top, and this is like bug netting, uh, which has a nice ventilation coming on the top, so the breeze blowing on the top, so it gets any smoke or scents out here really good, which is pretty good. Uh, this patch here, I know it's tacky, it needs to be repaired. Just check my other video to have uh, how I repaired these ones with the, um, the glue instead of the tape adhesive, because the tape adhesive isn't that good. Um, so ventilation I wanted to show you and yeah uh, the mark is if you fill all these holes up I know if you got a new tent is probably not a big deal uh, but bugs you got to watch for the bugs uh, the dandy long legs are pretty good at getting in really tight spaces and those uh, gray beetles are good too 
and uh, yeah, that was my indicator. Bugs and water. Here, I'm now on to patching, by the way. So ventilation is to get the aeration in here. This tent, I was lucky to get. I don't know where you could get tents with this ventilation. You gotta figure it out. This is good to have a tarp over a tent with ventilation. I'd recommend that 100% over any other tent, okay? So ventilation, I wanted to get that. And this is going to patching. Okay, I've been patching all over. The insects got in here a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I mean one per day. But that's too much for me. And another indicator was the water. So here, when I got this used tent, there's water seepage all at the bottom. I got that patched up. And then uh, this will happen to your new tent, I'm sure, as you wear it out, right? So it's, I guess tent repair a little bit. Running out of material for these videos, to tell you the truth. But there's one more in the series I think will be the camouflage outside, and then it's done. I'm still working on it. Uh, and uh, what else is here? There's water seepage. Oh yeah, I wonder if I can get outside. I tried to lift the size of the tent off the ground a bit. So I've got rope now tying this up and pulling it so the sides of the tent are off the ground. Uh, and underneath the tent there's the um, tarp, like my first video had the tarp underneath. And then uh, the edges are off the ground so water seepage is not onto the, the bottom of the tent but underneath it. Uh, let me see if I can can get this. I might include that in the camouflage video, okay? Because it's pouring rain right now. As you can see, I've been fixing any water leaks, any bug holes, um, washing it out in here, installing a light shield. This is handy. And I'll show you how that kind of works. This is at the entrance, so if anyone comes at the entrance and shines a light in the tent, they can't see through. So that gives you a little, no one should ever be coming here, but uh, when you're in close proximity to people who are, say, breaking into tents or robbing you, at the entrance, this will give you a little added protection, okay? So I use that one, and if they blind you with a bright light, it will give you added protection, and you could just say, hit them with a wooden stick or something, okay? You wouldn't want to use um, a animal protection like bear spray or dog spray in here, okay? Because you're gonna destroy the inside of the tent, okay? Um, what else? Maybe I will get outside for you. I have the battery power for you. Okay, one second. Let's see if I can get this headlamp on. Oh yeah, by the way, I got that new bed. I had that other video. Maybe this video is number nine. I can't remember, nine out of 10. The new bed being eight. Anyway, I got this already set up. Again, I put that, it's a wicker. I wash it down with Lysol. I put a foam pad there. And I put some clean, these are clean towels there to absorb any moisture. And then uh, I actually sit here myself, which is comfortable for me to sit here with this now that I got the water cleaned up and then just near the entrance and then uh, I could either sit there or a friend could sit there whatever and I could see sure uh, one thing is that bed is you can roll over in it so get all the angles this bed you're pretty much in a stationary position or you can kind of lean on it in an angle so um, yeah, if you have two people in here for an extended period of time, you have to alternate beds. So you can get a comfortable sleep anyway here, we'll go outside. Okay. Maybe I will do camouflage in this video. Okay. Let's see, I'm washing my hat. I found this bandana in the forest. It was black, but now it's gray. If I do camouflage here, I'm not. I probably won't do another camouflage. I don't know if I'm gonna run into storage. I might. So this cuts off. 
I don't know what to say. Okay, one second. Oh, okay. All right. So here we got this. All right. So I tried to pull it off the ground a bit. So I tied this up here to pull it off the ground. The water doesn't seep in the bottom. That's what I was trying to show you before. I did it on. I did it. I did it on this side too. Right there. You see. Pulling it up just to get it off the ground a bit. I did have flies go under or wasps go under just kick them out when they go under as far as camouflage here here's the surroundings look at the other videos on the uh, gardening and you can see this will really fill up with green okay so here's the camouflage so far I've started to put these over branches over and camouflage from the trail so I wanted to show you that and this with the an additional sheet um, of course it's behind this and then with this here I'm not going to jump this today so far but imagine this covered completely up right and that's a theory okay again this massive tree in here I haven't opened a path to it there's something that comes through here at night that breaks the branches pretty loud so a raccoon or a a coyote. Anyway, I have an owl video too. Saw the biggest owl I ever seen. That type of owl. So anyway, yep, I thought I'd show you that. This is what it's looking like now. Okay, the leaves are coming on the trees now. Got more camouflage, and I'm gonna continue washing my hat out. See, sorry to cut these jugs. That's about it. Okay. There we go. See that I let some water in. That's what I know what the problem is going to be at the entrance. So, let's see if I can lay something down there to fix that problem. Too much here. So that's about it. I do have my scanner here too, so I can listen to uh, radio and air traffic control locally. But you know, I'm not, not a police scanner or anything. So. Uh, anyway. That listens to the ships. Check my scanning videos for examples of that. Because some of that is pretty cool. Some of that's pretty cool. So this is what the problem I'm dealing with now. Put a newspaper or something down for our, our uh, get a towel and or use a dirty sock or something. And then uh, this is still sealing. And yeah, that's about it here. Sealing some of these leaks and then I lifted this underneath and pulled it up to dry and seal leaks in the rain a bit better. Okay. I wish I had some heat source but I don't. But uh, that should be okay. Anyway, hope you appreciate this. Hope you like this. Uh, take care. This is number nine I think. Nine. I said eight earlier but this is number nine. So one more left. I don't know what's going to be in it yet. Maybe it's just the final outside and inside too, okay, with the solution of this, okay, take care.